What is going on guys, DBG here, and in this video we are going to be doing another episode of the No Money Spent Squad. So as of right now, honestly, we're we're looking okay in terms of this squad. Let's see what team we have together. We have Tony Parker. I mean, when you're talking next gen, this team is not half bad. Current gen, I would not go out with this team in a million years, but next gen, this is not a half bad team. Can't lie. So, I haven't looked at this account in a while, so let's see what other cheap cards there might be in the market. I mean, marketing's okay. Don't want to pay 7k for him. Actually, actually, I'm on next gen. So, I think I'm going to sell Barnyani. Someone told me he's going for like 30. I want to see what price Barnyani's going for because I might sell. I might cash out on him. No, he's 15. I paid 10 for him. I'm not cashing out for 15. He is super rare, though. He is super rare. Okay, sleepers. Any sleepers players any good? Why am I talking about sleepers players being good? Of course they're not. Okay, flash set. Gerald Green. You know what? He might not be half. He might not be a half bad player to get into the team. AK, has he gone down in price or is he back up? He's back up to 10k. Oh, I regret not pouncing on him when he was like 3k. Surely Googs is up then, is he? Yeah. Kyle Corver. Not worth much. Richie. Man, I should have got these guys when they were like 5k. That was just me not being smart. Actually, he's not as good on this gen. Dio. I mean, I don't like DeRozan. I think he's. I think he might go down in price, though. Like, no way. No way do I not get at least 30k for those 40 something tokens. Oscar Roberts, what price is he? He's poor. Like, he's bad. Rudy. He's not that expensive. I'm not gonna lie, he is not that expensive. And if it wasn't for, like, kind of just trying to work my way up in the inevitable crash in the market, he's not that expensive. I just want to check one thing to see if on PS5 you can put in locker codes on two accounts. Because if you can, then we are, we're cruising. Like, if 2K let me put in locker codes again, we have a good few locker codes to type in right here. Nope. Lovely. Lovely. So basically, to get them on two different accounts, you need two different PS5s. And while I actually have, I just got the Xbox Series X. This account is definitely better on my Xbox account, so I'm going to stick with this. Um, but I don't have two PS5s, unfortunately. So, yeah. Is there is there any cards here that I want? Gerald Green's probably the first. Let's check the price of these. Devin Booker, he's awful for 120. Walter Davis. I mean, he's actually not terrible for 140. He's very expensive. Uh, Bam out of bio. He's 100k. Really? Really? Stacey Augman. 8.5. He's got powers release. He might be terrible. I think I know who I want. Can I get Mo Williams for less than 10? Yeah. Or a John Starks. Ah, oh, Starks around 30. He's a little bit expensive on this gen. And I got Mo Williams. Will I go for Mo Williams or Gerald Green? I'm going to try. I'll try out both of them. I'll, I'll give both of them a tryout. I'll give both of them a test out. I'm not entirely sure which one is the best. So. Give me 1400 for Gerald Green. I'll take that. That's not a bad... He's not going to be a bad card. He's straight up not going to be a bad card. The question is, does he come in this squad for... Honestly, I don't even know who I can put him in for. I literally just want to try out this guy and just see what the release is like. We have a few players, a few more players that I can't sell on this account. It's a free agent, Amari Stadamar. I have no idea why I have that card. Um, let's see what Gerald Green's like, hot zone wise. Okay, three of them. Uh, it's all right. 
That looks awkward. It's fine from that side. That looks really awkward from this side of the floor. Actually, no, it's not too bad. It's just, there's just some weird angles for this jumper. There's definitely some weird angles. The upper is very iffy, but the lower is nice. Okay. Okay, dunking obviously is gonna trigger contact. It's Gerald freaking green, lads. We can't forget that. But yeah, for 1400, not too bad. He feels slow. He feels sluggish, man. Pro four. I don't know what, what behind the back that is. Is that normal one? But he's still gonna be a, he's still gonna be a decent three and D player. I don't think he's anything spectacular. He'll be decent. Yeah, he'll be decent. The release is a little bit iffy, but I don't necessarily think that he will be a bad card. Let's check out what his stats are. I completely forgot to go over them. And thankfully, I was about to say thankfully loading times are non-existent, but definitely they do take. They're not quite as long. But there is still some loading. There are still some loading times. In case I shoot, actually that's what it was. I just put in a random player and it came out as a free agent. Joe Green, good enough three ball. Obviously 95 dunk, good ball handle. No real defense whatsoever. 672 guard, 25 golds. No, or he's got quick first step. Actually, he's he's gonna be nice this gen. He's gonna be nice, but Mo Williams is definitely the guy I want to run the point. Mo Williams is definitely the guy I want. Okay, I want to see if I can get him for very, very cheap. I want to stay over the 100k mark. I just preferably want to be able to stay over the 100k. I also preferably want one with clamps. Actually, I'm on next gen. What am I doing? Clamps doesn't mean anything. If I don't see one here with clamps, I'm just not going to pay anymore. Clamps does not mean anything on next gen. Uh, is two contracts worth 100 yeah, it is for an amethyst. There we go. I'll take that. I'll take a Mo Williams. Mo Williams, though, in terms of my no money spend, is coming right in. I'm going to stall out a little bit in a Tony Parker, but Mo Williams is most definitely coming into the team. He is most definitely coming in. Just like, just have a look at this guy here. This release, man. Like it's base four. I'm pretty sure he's the Dino clone as well. He is one of the many Dino clones in this game. And by like Dino clones, I mean has the exact same sigs as a Dino Raja. There are a bunch of the cards. Most Bates is a clone sigs wise of him, which means he has I think it's the Pro Four behind the back or Pro Two behind the back, Pro Two, and the Pro Four cross. Base four, decent release, and. Obviously gold range extender. So like if he's from this range right here, shoot with him. You're gonna hit you can hit it most of the time. I'm just not used to, to this release yet, but I mean that's con that's a shootable range for him. As well as the fact that he's got hot zones in the most important spots. Like this is greenable, this shot right here. Probably don't green it consistently, but this is more than greenable, like. So there's no point in passing it like if he can't the ball anywhere, green. And in this game this year, like with the fact with the way range extender is, literally just explosive from deep, leaner, green. And then you get better you get better bump animations from um from just onballing people than you do from the clamps badge. So clamps is I'm not gonna say it's worthless, he'd still rather have it than not, considering the fact that the pro am guys use it and they know a lot more than I do. But in my team anyway, it's so much less important than previous years. Like, I would rather, much rather have a card have clamps, but it's not the be all and end all. Like, it's not the most important badge in the game, like current gen. Oh, that animation. I'm telling you, when you trigger that animation, they're like weird. I think it's this. No, it's not that. It's. There's a weird, like, speed boost cross, you guess. And if you trigger that weird speed boost crossover, um, that one there, and you go into that hesitation, into another speed boost, you get it every single time. I don't know how to trigger it, because I accidentally trigger sometimes and go for the explosive. But when I do trigger that, like the weird, um, it's like a weird speed boost cross, and you go into some like other crossover and uh, hesitation, and then into another speed boost, you get wide open every time. It's like a, just a, basically a guaranteed two points animation. That animation there. When you hit him with that hezzy into that other speed boost going right, 
you are open 90% of the time if you're going to run horizontally. But anyway, yeah, that is pretty much it. This card's going to be pretty good. We're going to try him out in a game as well. So anyway, now let's just back off. Now let's go on three. And now let's get on to the game. Okay, this does not seem like too bad a team. Richard Jefferson. No, this is fine. This is fine. One thing, though. Look, just watch this. Just watch this. Just watch this, lads. If I try to run a freelance and I don't call a timeout, look at the offense that the game makes me run. This! What the hell is this? Like, what the hell is this offense? I didn't know what to do. I remember one time I, ran, I tried to call freelance, my players just all ran into the key. I don't... Like, what the hell is this? Why is this the vault? What the hell is this? What the hell is this? It looks like a bad 1-3-1 one, one zone, except it's an offense. Like, look at the rest of the offenses. The rest of them... You know what? Someone was spacing. 21... Since when is 21 to line 5 out? Either way, what the hell is this? Yeah, 21 delay is not 5 out. Give me that to open. Oh no, this dude's got Stockton. What's he doing running Rick Smith for if he's got Stockton? Get the bump, get the bump. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. That's actually not terrible defense to go finish. In the, uh, that one in him. What type of defense is he playing? I actually cannot tell what type of defense this guy's in. What, what offense is set? That's a bad shot. Alright. I think this guy has some good players. I'm not sure he exactly knows what he's doing. Pass out of that. Good. We'll catch that bone. We're good. We're good. 21 delay, honestly, is effective this year. That's kind of open again. Good board. Mo Williams. And you missed an open layup, man. What is wrong with you, man? You just missed an open layup. Green light on the leaner there from Rex Chapman. He is the worst leaner in this game. There are not many players in the game that are bad leaners. Rex Chapman has a bad leaner. Let him shoot the midi. What the hell? Oh, he triggered a... He triggered a layup. That's unlucky. His release is so bad off the catch. I know I greened that one, but I'm telling you it's shocking. But his leaner is actually pretty decent. So, you know, and his leaner is also awful, but he can still hit shots. But other than that, though, he's pretty decent. It's fine. Wait, he's fight. I should have baited up on that. What's he doing? What is he doing? He's green that? Really? Alright. Alright. We're good. Still not worried. Laner. We're greening them. You're gonna green that shot on me. I'm gonna green a shot on you. Get him. Get him. Shoot that. He can hit. Like, he should have probably hit that shot. But that was not a good shot to give up. I just wanted to see what he was all about. Lay that in. There's no help at all. Mo Williams with the dunk? I did not know he had that in him. Okay, he's put Kenny Smith in the game. He's taking off his best player. Shoot that. I'm there. Easy mode. Let's go. Oh, stop. He's crabbed. That's green. Mo Williams for three. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you, he is. He is this. He is that dude. On next gen, he is that dude. What the hell is that? Spam. Spam doesn't really work in this game. That's a terrible shot. What? I literally made contact with him. I was literally making contact with him as he hit that shot. You know what? You know what? Just shoot a leaner in his face. That's off. Okay. We've gone to Mo Williams enough. Rex Chapman is your turn from now on. Next possession is your turn. Unless we can hit Bowen. Oh, Goose in the corner. Take your time. Take your time. And as I took a little bit too much time as I held the release down too long. I don't care if Richard Jefferson does anything to me. He's not He's not going by Bruce Bowen. He's not doing anything by Bruce Bowen. Get through that. Oh, he took the leaner. Go aboard, Googs. You got silver quick. Actually, screw it. You run. You run. You do you. It's open. And that's green there from Mo Williams. There we go. He's now got 11 and he's got shock create. Yes. Let's go. The best shock, the best create, or the best takeover, in my opinion, in this game. 
For a point guard, that is. Shot create and take over. Actually, no. Sharp takeover is ridiculous because you can shoot from the halfway line. Full guard. Full guards only exist with the meter on from what I've seen this year. And um, we clanked that one already? Alright, let's just try to get this guy to quit. That's a charge. Let's go! Let's go, Mo Williams. You've got it. You got it. They have Kenny Smith on you. Oh, perfect animation for the laner. Oh, look at that. That's the animation we want to trigger. Guess the defensive player kind of uh, stunned. And if you can break Riot or or whichever side you're going, if you can continue that break, you're good. We got it. We got it. Oh, ankle breaker with that animation. It's the weirdest looking animation in the game. You wouldn't think it gets you open. And it doesn't if you just look, if you're looking to go to the basket. If you're looking to run horizontally to the basket, you're open every single time for a laner off that animation. It's a bad look. Run. Oh, he, like, Mo Williams had if he kept running. All right. Did that count? No, it didn't, but we got the dub. We got the win right there. So let's try. So we're 2-0. Let's just go and play a game of TTO with these guys. Not domination. Um, I'll give Gerald Green a run out. Why not? Why not give Gerald Green a run out? We haven't used him yet. He might be okay. And... I mean, yeah, Googs works, I guess. Oh, that's a good extra pass. And he blew it with Draymond. Oh, this guy's got Iggy. He knows what he's doing. He's got Iggy on this gen. I think I've played Iggy maybe once on this gen. A lot of people have him last gen. It's so rare that anyone wins 12 games in a row on next gen. Unless this guy's some sort of a demon. As he greens my face with Steph. Okay. Hey, we're all good. Let's see the way he wants to defend me. Come off that laner. Oh, that's a bad miss. Do not let him shoot the three. Do not let him shoot the three. Do not let him shoot the three. Just on ball this. On ball this, because if I off ball, he will get wide open with Seth. I've literally got to on ball and hope for the best. Nope. Two of my players crossed, and he got open. That's open. Good. Oh, that's bad by me. That's not timing. I need a time better than that. Okay. Stick with him. Stick with him. Actually, you know what? I'll give it to two. At this stage, I'll live with giving up the two. We're open. Oh my god, this is bad. Like, this is fully, fully just me being bad. Defense. Let's pass it out to Iggy. Bait it, bait it, bait it. Oh, that's Draymond. Oh, we just ran away from all his players. Good shot. Good shot. Oh, keep rolling. There we go. Good luck. No threes. Hey, okay, basically, I need to on ball as soon as I see Steph getting a little bit of space. And he just rim run. He missed the layup. Okay, he's going to pass the ball. He's, he's not bad. He is not shooting the ball here with Iguodala. Get on the blitz. Good defense. We run. We run. We run. Nice wrap. Oh, he got lucky. It's good there by Gerald Green. Come on, take on. Take on your brother, Draymond. Attack the basket. Nope. That's a bad animation we triggered. Okay, we triggered a couple of bad animations here, but Gugliata contact over Steph. Let's go. Still in this game. Again, a stop and we're good. And we... I knew he was going to give the ball to Steph. I saw what was coming. I just reacted slower than I've ever reacted before. There we go. Tie game. Oh, I thought we were in that lane. Don't. Just do not let him shoot the three. Good defense. Give it the two. We risked it. We risked it by trying to play a lane that we really shouldn't have played. So, stuff like that's going to happen. Toss. Good. You missed the open dunk, really. Really. He's going to pass. He's not going to shoot with Steph. Shout out there with Iguodala. 
Iggy's cash on this gen, by the way. Iggy's absolutely cash. I just still can't believe we missed a wide open dunk with Gugliata. Okay. Like, I'm trying... I'm like, oh, okay, I can left or right. But, like, it's Iguodala. It's the best defensive player in the game. I don't think he can just one simply left or right Iguodala. Got him. Kick. Flow baseline. Why not? Why not pull from there? Right shot. Poor execution. Million dollar move with a 10 cent finish right there. Okay, we gotta get a body on him. It's green. Oh, he blew it. This guy's not great with Curry. Really? 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 That pass went to him. Alright, bad. A couple of bad offenses, honestly. Like, we were at 10 all. We just kind of struggled since then. Give me the laner. Shot. Let's go stop here. It'd be nice. He's passing. We're there. No, I read it. I'm reading all these late. We're there. Shoot it. If you green with Draymond, you green with Draymond. He didn't green, but he hit the white. That's a frustrating one. Okay, Steph Curry's there. Oh, she pulled that from there. I'm taking that shot 10 times out of 10. I know I missed, but I know I can hit that shot. Even with gold range, I know I can hit that. That's game. GG's. You had the better team and play pretty well. So, unfortunately, we weren't able to get the win there, but I'm telling you, man, Mo Williams is... He's ridiculous. He's, on this gen here, he is ridiculous. Last gen, I'm telling you, he's not as good. Unless you can find one of him with claps. He's basically, he's basically just free Jojo White. He is just free, or say, he's just cheap Jojo White. Like, 8k MT for a card like this. You saw what he did in that game. You saw what he was doing with the John Stock and the fact that he can't even blow by him because it's next gen. His card is ridiculously good. So anyway, yeah, that is pretty much it. That's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Tasting with the fate, not the air